Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Asma Rent and this is 49ers News. Now, this news has been gathering for a long time <clears throat> um, about Shanahan and Jimmy G. Um, there's been a lot of headlines, a lot of photos on Facebook and memes and comments. Like headlines, for example, like this. This is on NinersNation.com. Golden Nugget, Shanahan is a good coach who's having a bad season. Jimmy Garoppolo's worst week, mocked by Mannings, ripped by the 49ers legend. Brian Baldner uh, on 49ers Jimmy G, he's just not good enough. And then you've got stuff on Facebook like this. In Garoppolo's last 11 games over the course of the 2020 and 2021 seasons, he's 5-6, and six, 13 TDs. Nine inters, one rushing, uh, TD, seven fumbles, two recovered, literally 14 TDs to 14 turnovers. Once again, from your own opinions, uh, own options and conclusions. Number one on Facebook, I support Jimmy G, although his entire career was a 49s, but if he doesn't win impressively against the Bears, oh boy. So we're sticking with Jimmy, the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expect a different result. We know who Jimmy is and what Jimmy can do, and it's not been good since the SB. Let's find out what we have in Trey Kyle. So those are the some of the uh, headlines and stuff on Facebook, like in groups and 49ers groups and NFL UK and so forth and so forth on the yeah, Facebook um, fan pages and so forth <clears throat> but what do you think honestly Jimmy G's good it's not very good it's not great it's not very great it's not excellent it's not very excellent it's not superb it's not very superb he's good like you said you saw that 14 turn up that is 2020 season all right we can you know he had an injury but before that, he still weren't as good now. Like, Jimmy's like, he's more shaky then than he was back in the past. Like, there was videos all over the place. For an ex Like, I'll show you this for a pure example. So, as you can tell, this was on the night of the Colts, right? And it tells you what, like, what went down, right? And as you see very clearly, you know, it's not hard. Like this one, for an example. Third and three. I mean, I mean, look, watch him here. It's right there. It's gone. Bang, I'm open. So if you go back, again, as he's open, watch Jimmy's head. Watch Jimmy's head here. The first thing he's looking is that way. He doesn't have to look that way. Look for your man target. Now, if this was to play in the first place, he would have looked down here. Don't worry about that. This man's, this guy here is covering. So don't look that way. Still looking that way. Your guy's right here. So he's he's got the ball, but he's looking between here and there. He's not giving it the full what we can do. And he still throws left. He did, he, he, he did not look straight to right. Again, just one more time. Again. Bang, got the ball. St looking that way. Still looking that way. Still looking left. And it's really annoying that your man was right there. You know what I mean? Still looking that way. Between there and there. But your guy was right open here. How? How can you not see that? And I swear that was the play in the first place. You passed to him here. But I, didn't, I don't understand. So we can sit there and say, you know, was that Cole's fault? Was that Jimmy's fault? I thought that was a good play. Very good play by Carl. But Jimmy's looking yet again from straight to my left that way. Why aren't you looking... You know what I mean? Don't worry about what's coming in front of you because your boys will get you. And then if you think you're coming close, come out of the pocket and run out. He could have even run out. If you looked on the slot, he could have run down and still done an angle. Very, very bizarre. But it's not the first time that Jimmy's done that. He's done it plenty and plenty of times. 
And then, of course, on top of that, sacks, interceptions. And then there's Kyle Shanahan. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, what can you say about that guy? Even in his interview. Did you see his post-interview? My God, man. If I was sitting in the back, I couldn't hear him. That's how much groveling he was doing. And yeah, it should be groveling. There was no way we should have lost that game. The first and second quarter, I thought we did very, very good. From the slight sh crap, okay. I thought we did very, very good. But, yeah, third quarter was theirs and the fourth, they just come back hard. And then, oh, I don't know who it was. I don't know if it was Jimmy Carr or it was someone. Oh, the rain got to us a little bit. What do you mean the rain got to you a little bit? Motherfucker, the rain's there on a constant. Plus, you work in it. You train out there. It's in Levi Stadium. That's your home. You're playing at home. So expect the rain. Thus, you work in it. So, that's, that's an excuse. Yeah, it's heavy rain. Big deal. No excuses. Okay, you could say, ball slipped out of the hand. Try to catch it or not catch it. Even the Colts had, you know, Colts. There was a guy, I can't remember his name. He was wide open on the sideline. And he was running wide open, straight for a touchdown. And it just went through his hands. Guttering. I actually felt sorry for the bloke. Because he actually deserved that touchdown. Easy. Way open. Didn't even cover. Didn't even cover the guy. He was open. It's just unacceptable. Unacceptable. And now we're going up against the Bears. I, I don't know. I always do a prediction score the day before against whoever we play. I give you my score. It's rubbish score. I, I always say we think we could, we will struggle and we'll win. By a touchdown to a field goal. Like, you know what I mean? But all truth and fairness, I'm saying it now. To win the prediction. Well, my next video will be the prediction. The day before the game starts. I'm telling you now. Don't even fucking ask. No disrespect. Don't even ask me what the score is going to be. Or if we win or not. Of course I want the team to win. Faithful to the Bay. Always. Of course I want the 49ers to win. But my God. If we play like that against Justin Fields. The rookie. Against the rookie. Now apparently Jimmy G's starting against the Bears. Okay, fair enough. He's got no arguments. No. No letdowns. Except himself if he loses against the rookie. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. If we lose against the Bears. You kiss the playoffs. 100% goodbye. No lie. No lie. You cannot lose against the Bears. The Bears are a very good team. Justin Vils is a very good quarterback. Regardless of his sacks and whatever. I mean, like the Browns took him down like nine times in a game. What do you expect? He's a, it, it, he's a rookie, but he will be great. I think Trey Lance needs to get better. And I think he could be in there. In fact, I'm not going to lie. I like to see a rookie versus a rookie. Trey Lance against Justin Fields. That would be amazing. But, according to the news, <clears throat> according to the news, Kittle is back in. And, um, hopefully we can do better. We've got no excuses. I don't care about injuries, because we're always getting injured. Because I don't care about the excuse of injuries or anything like that. You know, all our teams injury prone. But we have to win. There's no excuses. We have to. The Jimmy G and Carl situation. At the end of the day guys. I think Jimmy G will go next year. If Carl Shanahan don't put his finger out his ass, I can see Carl Shanahan, go, uh, Carl Shanahan going next year as well. Easy. If we lose every game from now on in. Every game, and I'm talking every game. If we lose every game from the Bears, because we've done it from the Colts, from the Bears onwards, forget it. 
Do I want Shanahan to go? Really? Oh, 50-50. I mean... I the thing is, he's a good coach. It's not great, but he's good. But, yeah, it, if he doesn't win games, yeah, then he has to go, sadly. Bring back Jim Harbaugh. Nah, I'm only joking. I thought, I, I, I thought Jim was very, very good. But then again, he lost the... It, 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 you know, enough did the same. But he did a little bit better. Um... But yeah, I'm not too sure, but Jimmy's going anyway. I, I can't see Jimmy staying. And yeah, if Carl don't put it, like I said, pull his finger out of his eyes, he is gone away out of here. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it on the video. Thank you very much. Um, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Jimmy G, Carl, stay or go? Would you reckon? Both of them, one of them. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think. Uh, thank you very much for the 50 subscribers as well. Very fortunate. humble. appreciate you guys subscribe. And if you're new, subscribe. I'm doing more 49ers news. And um, I've got a Twitch account. I'm doing a lot of gaming streaming as well. And um, yeah, I'm doing reviews, reactions and all sorts. And um, yeah, thank you very, uh, very much for watching. And I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.